So if you're not already running Linux, you'll need to get a virtual machine. Head over to virtualbox.org, then download the Windows installer. While that's downloading, let's get an Arch Linux ISO, which will run on our virtual machine. So at archlinux.org, go to the downloads page and click on magnet link, then click start torrent and download the file. While that's downloading, let's go back to setting up VirtualBox. Double click on the file you downloaded and run through the installer. Then open VirtualBox. Click on new and call it Archie or whatever you want. Then in the ISO image, select other and browse to the Arch Linux ISO you downloaded. Now just click next, next and next and then finish. Now you'll need to make your Raspberry Pi's SD card accessible by the virtual machine. So in Archie's settings, go to storage and then on controller SATA, say use host IO cache. Now hit OK and exit VirtualBox. You'll need to open an elevated command prompt session, one with administrative privileges. Now change directory to C, program files, Oracle and VirtualBox. Then enter vboxmanage.exe, internal commands, create raw vmdk. For the file path, let's just set that to c slash sdcard.vmdk. Now make sure the SD card for your Raspberry Pi is plugged in to your computer. For the raw disk, this will probably be physical drive 1. In order to figure out what the raw disk should be, just enter WMIC disk drive list brief and that's my SD card there. If your SD card isn't plugged in, you'll only see physical drive zero. Now open VirtualBox again as administrator. Go to settings, storage, and add your SD card.vmdk. This little warning symbol won't be here if you're running as administrator. Then hit OK and double click on RT to boot it up. Just hit enter here to boot straight in. Once you're in, type lsblk and make sure that your SD card is there. It should be sdb. Now we'll format the SD card with cfdisk. In cfdisk, you navigate down the bottom menu with your arrow keys. Delete any free space on your SD card. Just a warning, this will wipe any data on your SD card. Now create a new partition of size 200m, which is 200 megabytes. Make it a primary partition. Now press the down arrow key to select free space and create another new partition. This one is simple because you don't have to change anything. Now on the first partition you created, use the up arrow key to select it. Change its type to FAT32LBA. Now write your changes to the SD card. Just type yes here. Again, this will blow away any data on your SD card. Then quit CFDisk. Now if you type LSBLK again, you will see that there are two partitions on your SD card. If you press Ctrl L, that will give you a clean terminal. Now make three directories, SDA, boot, and root. If you're not doing this on a virtual machine, you don't need SDA. But I need to mount slash dev slash SDA to SDA to get this storage space. Oh, but it looks like I need to change its file system to ext4 before I do that. Okay, now I will mount it. This is the virtual storage of your virtual machine. So change directory to SDA and create the two directories boot and root. You'll need to mount the SD card's partitions to these new directories. The commands for doing this are up on screen. First you make the directories and then you change their file systems. And then finally you mount them. Use lsblk to make sure they are called sdb1 and sdb2. sdb1 is your boot partition and sdb2 is your root partition. I'm also going to install wget. While that's installing, I'm going to figure out which version of Arch ARM I'm going to need. I'm installing this on a Raspberry Pi 2, I think, so I'll need ARM v7. For Raspberry Pi 3, 4 or 5, you'll need ARM v8. Just copy the link and put it somewhere you can see while you're writing this command. This will download the tarball. If you ls, you'll see the file there. Now you'll need to unpack the file into your root directory. Do this with bsd tar dash xpf and then the name of the file and then dash c root now move all of the boot files to boot just make sure you type mv instead of move and now you can delete that empty boot directory in root 
This next step is for Raspberry Pi 4 only. Without it, you'll run into issues booting the system. Edit to boot.txt in boot. Remove the underscore r from all instances of FDT address. Now hit Ctrl O to save the file and Ctrl X to exit Nano. Finally run MKSCR. This will regenerate all the magic boot stuff. Now you're ready to unmount, boot and root, and unplug your SD card from the computer. Once you've got your Raspberry Pi up and running, the username here is Alarm, and the password is Alarm. This stands for Arch Linux Arm. Now to get access to the root user, just type su, and the password is root. Now you have Arch Linux on your Raspberry Pi. I'll leave you to set it up.